Madrid y esperamos muchos triunfos en este 2009. For 2009, my best wishes and blessings go out. I never saw two guys stare at each other at the, at the, at the weigh-in and then hug each other. Instead of throwing a chair or something, they hugged each other. For 2009, um, I, I wish the best and uh, the best blessings for Herman and Dojo and myself. I know 2009 you guys are going to see a lot of great things, not just for myself, but from Herman and Dojo. Congratulations, uh, Rango, the Warriors. Rango, uh, c'est un guerrier, c'est un gars qui frappe fort. Uh, au deuxième mois, quand je suis tombé, c'était le uh, troisième, troisième, je me rappelle plus. <laughs> quand je suis tombé, et, uh, il m'avait broyé la mâchoire. J'ai une fracture à la mâchoire et j'ai résisté du troisième jusqu'au douzième. C'est un gros cognac. J'ai montré beaucoup de, 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 de talent, j'ai manqué beaucoup de cœur. Parce que j'ai tant voulu être champion du monde. Euh, ça fait aujourd'hui 19 ans que j'ai fait la boxe. Euh, sûrement il y a quelque chose qui m'a manqué. Mais je le dis toujours, c'est pas la fin du monde. Rien n'arrive pour rien. Sûrement il m'a manqué une toute petite chose. Mais je vais aller chercher la prochaine fois. Et je suis très content de ma performance. Euh, et puis j'aimerais mentionner Urango, euh, c'est clair qu'il va rester longtemps champion, c'est un dieu cogneur, il est agressif et je le félicite encore. Et je lui souhaite beaucoup euh, du bonheur pour ce prochain combat. Bueno, como digo que cada uno se prepara para esto, yo sé que traté de lo, a presionar los primeros rounds. Yo pensaba que esta pelea no iba a llegar a 12 rounds, pero eh, todo salió como lo planificamos, que fue lo más importante. Y, y Gemma, un buen peleador. You prepare yourself world-class fighters prepare themselves to leave everything in the ring. And that can define what Herman and Dojo is. His preparation was complete and it was 100%. Uh, I didn't think the fight was gonna last 12 rounds, but uh, that just gives Herman more credit for him to get up and complete the fight. Si yeah. faire 12 rounds devant ce gars-là, la mâchoire fracturée après être allé au plancher deux fois, euh, ce qui a aussi, tantôt, Herman disait qu'il a manqué peut-être un, un petit quelque chose, mais ce qui a manqué, en, en fait, le, le Juan Nurango est sans aucun doute le meilleur boxeur qu'Herman n'a jamais affronté. Euh, Herman a dit tantôt que Nurango va rester champion longtemps, il y a 28 ans euh, le, seulement. Le, je, suis, je suis convaincu que dans cette division-là, il va. Quand il a perdu contre Ricky Hatton, il avait été surclassé, mais il disait que c'était parce qu'il était peut-être surentraîné ces choses-là. Aujourd'hui, on, on peut croire que c'était la vérité. Very exciting division. You have um, Hatton and Pacquiao. You have Bradley and Holt. They're going to fight. You have that Victor Ortiz. Um, you have a bunch of guys at 35 want to come to 40. It's just a hot, hot division. It's deep. Um, so you know, we're going to. Take some time and we'll all talk about it and we'll figure out. Good, uh, Hatton and Pacquiao. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you something about Hatton, okay? Juan Urango's only loss was a decision to Hatton. And he really wanted the fight that was offered to us. And I was against it at the time because I didn't think he was ready. I think he's a much more polished, complete fighter than he was when he fought Ricky Hatton. Because if you, if you saw the fight, remember in the fifth or sixth rounds, he hurt Ricky badly with a body shot. And the, the guy that you you saw the night would have finished Ricky Hatton that night, you know. I, and I and I want to, I want to say something else. This is important. The gentleman sitting behind you, in the uh, uh, light blue and okay, is, is is one of the world's greatest trainers. His name. Everybody knows him. He's just kind of understated and low key. It's Evangelista Cotto, okay. 
the uncle and, and trainer of the great champion Miguel Cotto. And this is, this is Urango's third fight with, with Cotto. And there is a big difference because he's quiet. He never talks to anybody. He's just an underrated great trainer. And, you know, people say, well, he's got great talent. He's working with his nephew, uh, you know, um, Miguel Cotto. Well, now he's showing you what he does with other talent. He's got another world champion. We were told five minutes and 26 seconds, something like that. Five minutes and 10 seconds. 10 seconds. À un moment donné, et moi j'étais derrière les gens des SPN et euh, se sont tournés vers moi et ont dit ah, on vient de passer cinq minutes, le, le temps de faire le tour, voir qu'est-ce qui se passait. Uh, question for Juan. Uh, did your camp have any like problems with Marlon Wright being the referee for this fight, especially after what happened in October? Did a good job. He's a great, he's a good referee. But by the way, before he answers the question, Mar Marlon Wright's a very good referee. Okay, and I and, and I believe he made the right call in the Butte fight because I interpret that you can't be saved by the bell in even the last round. That if a champion gets to his feet before the count of ten, he don't have to continue the bell already wrong. Yeah. So I believe he made the right call, and I believe he he refed a beautiful fight tonight. There was no controversy. He gave him, he gave him a warning for a low blow. He gave him a warning for holding. Like he gave the, he, he warned them when they would belong. He, he didn't. He didn't take the fight away from the fighters. He kept it. Both guys are clean guys, you know. They're, they're, you know. You ever see a world title fight that rough, where at the beginning of each round they touch gloves? The respect that they had for each other. These are two of the gentlemen in the sport. So I, I mean, I, I, I think everybody did did right by everybody. I don't think that's. And, and you know, when we got the we got the the name of Marlon Wright over almost ten days ago, a week ago, and. Uh, me or Leon or nobody never questioned uh, the, the, his place. You know, he, he, he's uh, one of the best referees in the world, and we're happy to have him yes. there. Question for your angle: Since uh, have you been training with Cole by, by any chance? And also, how does it feel to come back as a champion again after all this time? You mean Miguel Cotto? Yeah, of course. He Miguel wants to know Cotto. if you're training with Miguel Cotto. Yeah. 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 Well, Miguel Since you have his uncle as. Uh, do you make sparring sessions with Miguel Cotto? Has he sparred with Miguel? No. No. No, they don't spar. They're in the same gym and they have the same trainer, but they don't spar. Um, no, sir, I've never sparred with Miguel Cotto. And uh, this is the top of the hill that all athletes and all boxers talk about. This is the place where they want to reach in their careers. So I'm very happy that I'm here. Was it harder to come back? Come back from what? From the, no, no, the first time. Que, come to decision was. Well, I, I can tell you that I had the right preparation for this fight. I think it was over. But even with the preparation, this fight was a lot harder as a world title fight than the prior world title fight that I had. What was the question? In English. The question is, Juan Urango, do you think if you wouldn't have overwhelmed yourself in the round where you knocked him down twice and you would have relaxed, you think you would have yeah, you would have been able to finish the fight? Is there a last question for Herman because he's going to see the doctor? That Herman can be Kendall Holt or Brad, either one of the other two champions. I, I think he beats him. So after he wins a world title, and we can make all kinds of money and put all the belts together, then we do the rematch. Yeah. Yes, That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. Merci. Est-ce qu'il y a d'autres questions pour Juan Urango? Okay, merci beaucoup. J'en profite pour remercier.